All right, so this story is, I mean, it, it's frustrating to listen to. Yeah. A blind woman in North Carolina says a rideshare driver took her to the wrong location and just left her there. Yeah, Sean Gallagher reports. As a blind woman, it's important for Camille Richardson to be able to do things on her own. So I do things a little differently. Like getting the mail. Oh, good. It's not overflowing. Blind since birth, she's handled everything life has thrown her way, with one exception. I always say the only thing I cannot do is drive. For that, she relies on ride-sharing services like Uber. Sunday afternoon, she requested an Uber to the Verizon store. Richardson says she has a note in her profile that she's blind. Also, I have a white cane, so it also lets people know that I am blind. The driver walked her to a door, but she knew something wasn't right. And he says, oh, okay, we're here. We're at the Verizon store. Instead of being dropped off at the Verizon store, Richardson was at an apartment complex. It's more than a mile north of where she expected. I say, this is not the right place. And he says, well, I have somebody I got to pick up at the airport. And he takes off and runs away. Leaving Richardson all alone, essentially in the dark. I couldn't even tell you what I was near. I didn't know the vicinity. He just dropped me and ran away. It's jarring. It, it's terrifying to the mind. This is not the first time where folks with disabilities have been placed in a vulnerable situation. It happens every day. Aviance Brown is Richardson's attorney. She says they're looking for Uber to make changes to not put people with disabilities in vulnerable positions. How could you just abandon somebody like that, knowing good and well that I was not in the right spot? Well, Uber says that it is investigating and has reached out to Richardson to give her a refund. Mm. I think you need more than a refund. I was going to say, it's going to take more than that. Yeah.